Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. I'm recording this podcast less than 24 hours after Content Entrepreneur Expo CEX 2024 concluded. To be honest, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done. I've got birthday, my oldest is graduating, Mother's Day. We're all busy, but you know the drill. It's hard to express the feelings that occur when an event like this comes to an end. I'm exhausted, both physically and mentally. But I'm also still glowing, if that's the right word, from knowing that the event made a real impact on so many of the 400 people from 10 plus countries who came to Cleveland, Ohio for three days. But let me take you back to before the event started. My wife and I headed down to Hotel Cleveland, formerly the Renaissance Hotel, Saturday afternoon to check in before the first welcome reception. With hotel key in hand, we headed up to room 1412. We opened the door and almost simultaneously said, you've got to be kidding. The room was the exact same room we stayed in for the inaugural Content Marketing World, our first event, which took place in 2011, the same exact room. There are so many feelings. Content Marketing World changed our entire business. It changed our lives. Our business went from losing significant money from 2007 to 2010 to profitable and over $1 million in revenue because of CMW in September of 2011. That first event, where I was hoping 100 people would come to Cleveland for a strange marketing event, ended up attracting 660 people. Four years later, that event was 4,000 strong and became the largest single business event in Cleveland, Ohio. The next year, we sold it for a ton of money. And now, 13 years later, we arrive back at the beginning, where it all started. After dropping our luggage off in our old room, we headed down to see the staff and check things out. Kelly, our incredible meeting director, wanted to show me the main stage, so we walked into the grand ballroom, and I immediately headed up to the stage to check things out. What do you call it when your life flashes in front of your eyes? Well, that happened, at least the last 13 years or so. I was standing on the same stage in the exact same place where my life took this huge, incredible turn. Hard to express, to be honest. I joked with Kelly saying something like, I'm not sure what it says that I'm back in the same exact spot where it all began. Is that good? I didn't know the answer, to be honest. Sure, this was a completely different event, an entirely different business, and a uniquely different audience, but still... I wasn't sure the exact feeling. I can't name it. I guess I was asking myself if I'd done enough or was doing enough to make a positive difference in people's lives. That's kind of my career goal now. How can I use my talents, my time, and my relationships to help this new group of people live better lives in some way? I didn't know the answer to that either. I mean, I knew I was doing some good, but was I really doing enough? Now fast forward to the start of the event. I met old friends and new friends and people who were executing on some amazing content projects and businesses. At the opening reception, I met a very excited couple. Apparently, one of them bought my book, Content Inc., and changed their entire business because of it. At some other event, the first creator recommended it to the second creator. This their first meeting. I'm not sure what happened, but now they're married and they create content together as part of the same business. They said that they fell in love with each other because of my book. Now, I did not see that coming. Then one woman came up to me and said that listening to my podcast, This Old Marketing with Robert Rose, was the best part of her week. She said she recently went through a divorce and everything was going wrong. The only thing that stayed constant in her life was our silly one-hour podcast. Then one of our keynotes presented on stage how they left their job where they were completely depressed with life, then wrote a book and started a business that resulted in almost $1 million in two years, all because they attended the first CEX in 2022. There were so many conversations with people who came up to me with stories like this. 
It was as if God was just showering me with proof points after I had doubts of my value just a few hours before. It was like, hey, idiot, here's another example. I would have never known any of this if it wasn't for this small in-person event that took place in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm not sure of the point of all this for you, but maybe it's this. You are creating things. Maybe it's a newsletter. Maybe it's a podcast like this one. Maybe it's a book like Content Inc. Or maybe it's an event or a webinar series, whatever. Whatever you're making. Maybe you don't quite realize if it's making an impact. I'm here to tell you that it most definitely is having an impact on people. You are changing people's lives. You are making a difference. You just don't know the specifics yet. I'm lucky that we hold an annual event where I can learn stuff like this firsthand. But trust me, this kind of stuff is happening for you as well. Know that this is true and keep doing your thing. Good luck. Thank you.